So, this is what we're making. Maitland Art Gallery have asked me to do an online how-to one of my works. So let's get started. So first, you get a piece of paper or a bit of cardboard. I use cardboard. You get a dinner plate, put it down. Give it a trace. Then you cut it out with scissors or a scalpel. Then you give it a lick of paint. Boom. Now we're gonna use whatever pens you've got. Obviously I'm gonna use white. And you draw eight rings around the whole thing. Sick. So now we've got the eight rings. Now we're gonna do a tiling pattern where you just bring down an outer line like this, but don't go all the way to the edge. Super simple. Cool, that's done. Now, be sure to leave a gap. We're gonna leave a gap in the grid because now we're going to actually tile the whole thing and I'm not sure how the pattern will join. Leaving the gap will give us the opportunity to join. So this is what I'm gonna do. There are seven bars here. I'm gonna find the middle, which is that one, which is fourth in, and I'm gonna fill it in. Just like this, real quick. Now we're gonna leave a gap in between and repeat this pattern. Bugger. So I hit normal video instead of time-lapse, but you know, whatever, that happened. So now we need to join the pattern. So you've got your blank and your blank here. What I do is I find the middle and obviously it's gotten a bit tight and I've made a mistake by bringing it too tight in comparison to the rest. But you know what? Mistakes happen all the time in my works like this. And once it's all patterned up, no one will bloody notice. Don't worry about it. Sick, it's joined. See, you can't even tell where I stuffed up. So now we're gonna get a different color and we're just gonna go on the immediate inside of the tiles that we've already made. And we're gonna do the inner section here, but we're gonna leave a gap with the original surface of the paint. Now let's see if I get the time lapse in right. Now we're just gonna add the third color, which is we're gonna bang straight in the middle of our diamonds and we're gonna bang it in the middle there. Again, leaving the paint color just like that. Cool. Now, because I think it looks a bit plain at the moment and I want to pull all the focus into the middle, on this inside triangle, I'm just gonna add in between the pale blue and the silver, I'm just gonna add crosses, just so it starts to pull the attention in towards the middle. Now, find a bowl or something smaller in the house. Place it in the middle, I just do it by eye. And draw around it. Cool, so now we're gonna do a radiate pattern. Now you need to re-draw um, lines towards the center. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but again, when I go all the way around, we're gonna leave a gap so that the pattern can join. Woo! So now, uh, 
starting from here, we're just gonna go sort of at a 45 degree angle and fill in a little diamond pattern. Leave this one blank, just like that. And then on the next one, we'll go down. Go up, leaving that blank, and join it like that. Right, yeah, so now we're gonna get silver and we're just gonna flood it like this. So this diamond goes about halfway through the blank space. Easy. Right, eh? So now with these, uh, these section here, that looks pretty boring. So what I'm gonna do is bring the lines in just like this to create little tiny points. Cool. Righto, so now, just by eye, we're gonna do another line, about a centimeter roughly, but it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It's just like this, and just eyeball it, you'll be right. Okay. Righto, so now we're gonna go back to that blue, and we're just gonna do a line in, and just leave a little gap like a, I don't know, five mil or something like that. Because then we're gonna come back in and drop a white line in between. See, super bloody easy. Righto, so we've done the tiling, we've done the radiator and we've done a sink pattern. So that pushes it down. Now we're gonna work on the text. So I've picked out my text, which is gonna be, long story short, you'll be right. So how I do it is that I guess that this is the middle-ish, put a real faint dot, and then I start with what's immediately above. So I actually write backwards, because long story short, five letters on each side, and I just bang it in freehand. Now switch to the time lapse. Righto, so we're on to the last bit. Now this is called a flood pattern. It just means it has to just look super flat. And what we're going to do is on this area where the text isn't, we're just going to fill it with hundreds of tiny circles so that when we cover all the negative space, the text will jump forward. I'll switch over. Woo, we're done. Thanks for coming. Good chat.